Okay, let's look at problem 3.9. In 3.9, you are given a stress strain curve uh, equation. And you're, you're told this is in units of megapascal. So this is the Holloman equation. That's equation uh, three point one zero from page one sixty six of the textbook. This is a true stress strain curve. So it's the true true stress strain, and it has a shape. Excuse me, it has a shape that looks like this. like that. <clears throat> that is our uh, work hardening coefficient. And the first thing we're asked to do is to determine the 0 0.002 offset. Okay, so to do that, you want to find the uh, elastic regime here, and you want to draw a line that is parallel to the elastic regime, but offset by 0 0.002. Now, if you look at this equation, if you take the derivative of that, Take the derivative, you stress the epsilon, you get 600 times 0 0.35 times epsilon to the minus 0 0.65. So when we get in the limit of epsilon going to zero, the slope goes to infinity, right? It's one over zero. And if you look over here, I mean, that's consistent with the figure if you plot it. So basically, you can come over here, draw a straight line up, and that is your yield point. So part A of this problem is Substitute epsilon equals 0 0.002 into sigma as a function of stress given above. Okay, now let's look at what the next part of the problem asks. <clears throat> the next part of the problem is B. Apply the uh, I can't pronounce this, considerates criteria. Big, psi D, E, R, E. <clears throat> to determine the true and the engineering stress at necking. Okay, let me add a uh, let me add a page here. How do I do that? Uh, insert uh, let's see. I know there's a way to do this. Insert new page. Okay. <clears throat> so this consider a criteria. Let's 
We're going to go to the textbook, and this is discussed on page 172 to 173. And at the end of the day, we come up with this equation that necking occurs And of course, if you had a different uh, different stress equation than uh, the Holloman, uh, the, the book works with Holloman, but if you had a different condition, uh, you could simply put in the different function and, and step through the, the solution. But with the Holloman equation, we find that this occurs when the strain is equal to the uh, work hardening uh, factor. And remember, these are <clears throat> true stress and strains. So, so we now know the condition for the onset of necking. And if we substitute, times 0 0.35, 0 0.35. That allows us to determine the true stress at the onset of necking. And then we can go back and take equation 3.9 from page 165. Ah, sorry, the zooming. <clears throat> we have epsilon e, so we can say x of the true strain is equal to 1 plus epsilon e, or the engineering strain is equal to minus 1. So this will allow us to determine the engineering strain. And then equation 3.4, page 164. Can be <clears throat> changed to be this. So substitution of the engineering strain and I'm sorry about that, and the true stress will give us the engineering stress. So this is how we solve problem 